Hi guys, uh, here's the latest game I'm checking out. It's a strategy game from Big Fish Games. Uh, it looked pretty interesting. It looks like something I'd play. It's got a little bit of strategy. A um, little bit of Roads to Rome style of gameplay, but that's about all I know of it. I don't know a whole lot. Let me uh, make a new player. Start from scratch. We'll call uh, YouTube. That's original, right? Everybody uses that. It's original. There we go. All right. Let's start. Spain, 16th century, a time of adventure and discovery. Try to save the lost expedition, but don't forget about the treasury. It needs gold. Set on your journey. You must overtake the Adelantado and be the first to complete the mission. Say farewell to your native shores. Full speed ahead. We must get there first. Calm. The sailors are exhausted from the heat. Will the wind ever come? Then the wind came. The storm almost killed us. This was not how I imagined arriving to shore. We were very lucky and we found a settlement abandoned by the previous expedition. Let the restoration begin. Main goal, discover a territory. So I imagine this to be something of a casual style strategy game like Anno 1404. Some of you guys may know. Um, let's start out here. Main goal, discover territory. I don't know what that means. So we talk. Greetings, foreigners. We have seen signs, and here the gods have sent you to us. We believe you can help our tribe. Prepare one large Indian hut. Well, I agree I'll help you with that. This is the current task window. Repair the Indian hut. Indian hut's damaged. Okay, you can move it around with the mouse. Oh, nice. Right mouse button will move it there. Right mouse will click. Okay. This is the recent message button telling me something I already know. Go back to the chief. We have proven your good intentions. Our lands are now open to you. As a sign of friendship, I want to show you the way to a reward. But listen carefully. Magic stones must not be taken beyond the borders of their surroundings. All right, so we have secret things to find. Repair one large Indian hut. We already did that. Oratory stone. Well, I have one speed, one oratory, one strength. So, discover territory. Survivors saved zero. Secrets found zero. Secrets remaining one. I found a stone. Alright. This is the main character's attribute level. Look, a berry bush. Gather the berries. They will top up our food supply. That's... What's this? Ooh. Headquarters. 14, so we can hold a total of 15. Collecting. I'm assessing we can click on each of these, but I'm going to wait for a second. Let's continue to restore the abandoned settlement. We need to feed the people, so we'll start with the garden. Ah, sounds like a winner to me, since you already picked the berry bush first. Wouldn't have been my first choice, but let's see. To oratory. Alright. That's all finished. And s repair the abandoned woodcutter. He will supply us with timber. Alright. So far it's really not a bad game. I could I could get into this. Animation isn't too bad. Graphics are uh, not too bad for a casual game. Each woodcutter has its own feeling area, felling area. Great. We need to saw timber into boards in order to start building. This means that we need to repair the sawmill. Well, there you go. Food. Looks like it also does fish and something else. Wood is wood. Stone. Coins. Okay. Woodcutter brings 
timber necessary for producing wood. The woodcutter only chops the trees located within the building's active zone. So in other words, hover over the woodcutter's house to see what zone it is. Hint, try to position the woodcutter's house so that as many trees as possible fall within its active zone. Sawmill process timber into wood necessary for the construction of most buildings. If you need more timber for producing wood, build more woodcutter houses. Alrighty. Try to position the sawmill as close as possible to headquarters or to warehouse. This game sounds like a really, um, I want to say Settlers. Is that right? You guys correct me. I think there's a game like this called Settlers that does the same thing. Uh, we need more food for our people. Let's build another garden. Well, yeah. Okay, this is the build menu. Garden level. All right. Oh, nice. I think I played this game once. Can I put it here? No. All right. Yeah, I think this plays a lot like a more uh, scaled-down version of Settlers. It's a great, I would say it's a good introduction to Settlers for people. Nearby, I saw a barrel left over from the previous expedition. Let's smash it open. There may be something useful inside. Ooh, okay, barrel. Somebody grab that. There's a lot of stuff here. Shell. Some more wood. Shell. Hey, why can't I just... Oh, lots of stuff. This, this must be their ship. Alright. And you found some wood. Ah, I saw a ruined watchtower nearby. Will it help us advance further inland? Yeah, I remember this game. It's an older game, but I like it. If you guys like this and like to see uh, how it goes, let me know. I'll keep playing through it. I'll probably keep playing through it for a little bit because I think this is pretty interesting. It's a mix of a lot of, lot of games. Um, but like I said, it's a casual game, so it's not quite as hardcore as some of the others. Watchtower is a key tool in increasing our territory. Houses, warrior, houses warriors recruited from the workers. Uh, houses, warriors, okay, so in other words, workers can be turned into warriors, and this is where they go, okay. By upgrading towers, you discover extra territory and defend surrounding areas from attacks. Hint, you can move across the map by holding down the right mouse button. Actually, you can move around the map by moving the left mouse button, like this. Right mouse button will zip you to that, wherever it's set focused at. Now your territory has increased. Discover a territory. We've done that so far. Here's an abandoned house. We'll repair it so the workers have some place to live. Nice. Okay. So this is actually a trilogy. This particular one I'm playing is called Book 1. I was going to do Book 3 because I do have that. I recently got Book 1 and 2, so I thought, why not start from the beginning? So let's see. Have some more berries. Uh, headquarters is the key place to store resources and for free workers to rest. Workers House is a building which adds new workers and a place for free workers to rest. Hint, you can increase the number of workers in various ways. Build a worker's house, upgrade a worker's house, or upgrade the headquarters. Okay. I can play along without these uh, instructions, if you will. But I just want to make sure I don't miss anything. Here's a new dude. Oh, the chief, chief's brother. What does he want? Hey, forget that barrel. Talk to the chief. I must have clicked that by accident. This is terrible. What will we do? These huts have been home to me and my brother for so many years, and now they have been destroyed by a hurricane. Repair to any huts. Well, I think I can do that. We'll repair this one and this one. Get two guys on it. So I'm not sure what the strength is for. Or the speed. I'm assuming speed will expedite building process. I'm not sure what strength is. Oh, eight messages. Wow. Okay. Well, I know all those. Why do they have to put the messages up? I don't understand what that's for. Alright. Chief's brother has some more things to say. You really helped us out. 
I consider it my duty to repay you, and I know just how to do it. I will show you where the previous expedition hid some coins. Why didn't you take them? Well, look at that. One, two, three. There. Current resources. Repair the guard tower to discover a new territory. All right. Garden is the cheapest source of food, the only building that produces food that doesn't require further processing. Hint to build more gardens right at the beginning of the development. Move the cursor over the building to see its efficiency bar. The efficiency of all resource producing buildings falls over time. Tools blunt locations and or land grow poor, which affects the speed and production of cycle. Try to upgrade buildings before they lose efficiency. Ah, oh, that makes it a little more challenging. First, I'll get this thing rolling. So that's good. That's starting this fall. So this is still good. So we gotta watch this efficiency of that one. Repair, repair, repair. <laughs> Guard towers will increase our territory. Yes. And there goes a guard. I guess the guard has to be in there. There it is. Ooh, nice. Look, there's another watchtower I had. Repair it. Okay, so we'll repair this one. What's this? All these stars must represent the level of the building. So one star is level one. So that's, I think that's what, the, so how do you get more speed, I wonder? Well, we'll have to see how that works. Watch towers done. One second, I need to adjust something. I didn't realize that the screen wasn't full. Well, I guess it is. Quite all right. Territory has increased. Looking for survivors and secrets. There's still some explored land. Repair the last watchtower and we'll be able to advance further. Alright. I'm looking for secrets. Warrior guard. Why is he red? Got plenty of food, lots of trees. Some more food. I think this would deteriorate a lot faster than this would, leaving it beat out in the open. Uh oh, two at the same time. Ready to speak. Hello. That territory has increased. So the oratory will allow you to do higher quests. Greetings, foreigner. I know a shortcut to the sea that goes through the forest. I can show you in it in exchange for beautiful shells. I want to surprise my daughter with a new necklace. Find three shells. I think I can probably do that. There's one there. One there. And one there. Now, where's this other chief? He wanted to say something. Oh. Warrior guard. Ah, oratory level three. I can't talk to him yet. So, hmm. I found three shells. And uh, yes, in the next video, I will make that a little more high quality for video watching. Follow this path and you will see a ruined shipyard by the sea. It was destroyed in a fire so your predecessors could not build a ship. What a trade-off. 
So follow. We have become sufficiently accustomed to this new land. Now is the time to build a new ship to replace the old one. We'll need a shipyard. Wow, we can do that with ten people. I'm impressed. And there they go. Oh, there's a path back there. Okay, I may have to upgrade that. Oh, these are zipping down fast. So how do we get the oratory level up? Damn, look at them go. Build that ship. Ship building. Done. Great. Now we can get to work building the ship. Need 15 lumber. Oh, we got 20. Oh, oh no, 35 lumber. We're short 15. I gotcha. Come on. Uh, there, there, there. Oh, hey, there's something. I bet you that's a secret. Come on, guys, go pick it up. Go, 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 go. Come on, wobble over there. Congratulations, you found a secret. I'm good. Day one, we disembarked on shore and we were warmly greeted by a friendly Indian tribe. A good start to our expedition. You know, when I saw the title screen of the book three, I saw a dinosaur. That's what made me actually kind of interested in this. All right, so we're, at, we're building a ship. There we go. Let's see what we can do now. Yeah, Noah, eat your heart out. This guy can rock. Alright, I suppose I should grab that food or... Nah, I can wait. Alright, can I talk to him? Requires oratory level 1. Well, let's finish him first. Get this oratory up. The spirits were angered and put a curse on the village. The earth shook and our homes were destroyed. This totem pole has protected us for a long time, but it could not withstand it. Please help to restore it. One totem pole. Alright, I guess I'll hook you up there. Now, where's the other chief? Chief's brother. This is level three. Well, there's some secrets at here. Tom Pole Watchman. Uh, I hope you admire the miracle of the totem pole. That was your handiwork. Take this oratory stone, yay, as a sign of my thanks. It will allow you to better understand our people. Outstanding. So now. Oh, dude, pick it up. Jeez. Stones collected, too. Found one secret. Okay, so we got all the secrets on this land. I'll grab that piece of wood. Now... Now I can talk to him. Where you at? Where you at? Go, 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 go. What the hell? Oh my god, don't run too fast. So there's no more secrets. No. Uh, I'm gonna assume there's no secrets. Our village has been struck down with a terrible punishment. We went to the altar to ask the gods for help, but they were not in a benevolent mood. Help to restore the village, and I will repay you. Repair three Indian huts. No problem. One. Two, three. Guys are done building our massive ark. Speaking of, where did it go? Oh, it's out to sea. Okay. Let's see how much of this area are we done with here? I 
There's two done, two left. One left, two left. Thank you for your help, friends. The sacred altar is now open to you. The altar is where the gods bestow gifts on the chosen for their great deeds. You have proven yourself worthy of this honor. Repair three huts. Ooh, discovered a territory. Oh, so that was the whole area. Well, let's grab this. Gold artifact fragment. This is a fragment of the ancient Indian artifact. When you have collected all the pieces, you will unlock a new path. Wow, here we go. Part 1, Chapter 1. Mission completed. Survivors saved, none. Gold sent, none. Extra gold, none. Extra food, 32. Extra boards, 10. Bricks, silver coins, extra time is 0. Secrets found, 1. Level time is 11. Okay, so I don't know if that's a good score or not. Part 1. Ooh, look at this. Not bad. Alright, well, I will stop it here and start the next chapter on the next video. If you guys want to see more of this, uh, click the link below and you can pick up a copy for yourself. It's not that expensive. I think it's only a couple bucks, maybe three. Um, until then, let's go back. Until then, see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.